For the last decade, man caves have grown in popularity. And tonight's Consumer Watch, TV6's Gabrielle Mays takes a look at how you can start your own man cave. Stainless applications um, with the freezer and ice maker. The typical man cave is much different than it used to be. What was once just a room where men could go to escape has now become its own separate home or an extension of the home they already own. Interior designer Karen Larson says clients come in all the time hoping to build the perfect man cave. They're an extension of their interests. Uh, I've been in two most recently where they're car collectors and so the collection is in the lower level and then their man cave tree fort I call it is upstairs and it's 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 a home. Man caves don't come cheap, and even though it depends on the space you're trying to fill, they can run anywhere from $5,000 or more. Another feature that's very popular uh, is the integrated refrigeration. Um, you're not going to see where your refrigerator is. We try to bury it into the design. Um, so this is a 27-inch Sub-Zero refrigerator. It's got full overlay. Great in a man cave. For men interested in wall decor or signage, if you have your own picture, Mark Penanen can recreate it. We can take from those photographs and insert uh, certain images, um, photoshopped, so to speak, um, as we've done on the wall here. We took a national picture that was not copyrighted, and then we inserted local customers into it to give it a different, a different feel and a different flair. Custom lettering starting at $15 can also be added to any wall. A lot of what we've done um, on, the, on the lower end or the simpler is just some vinyl cut lettering, uh, Joe's Bar, uh, Dave's Man Cave, things like that. For more information on man caves, visit UpperMichiganSource.com. In Nagani, Gabrielle Mays, TV6 News.